Welcome to Promethean Board for Beginners. My name is Kat Lubker and I'm a Technology Integration Specialist here at Elkhart Community Schools. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use your smart board, your Promethean Board. When you're on your desktop, you want to come over here to the Active Inspire icon and that will open up your software to use the Promethean Board. If you don't see that icon, come down to the bottom Start button and type into your search field, Active Inspire, and this program will open up. When you open it up, it's going to bring you to this view. On this view, you can get your whiteboard, and it works just like your regular whiteboard. So I could write a welcome message to my students. Um, if I needed another page, because I've moved on to somewhere else in my lesson, I would add a page. And you'll see over on the left-hand side that pages are being added. Um, let's say at the end of my day, then I say goodbye. So that's the basic features of them. You can change your pen color. So if I want red, I can change the pen size here to make it a very thick line. Um, I can even turn it into a highlighter in a different color if I wanted to. So you have all of those features, again, with the pen size included. Um, let's say you make a mistake and you don't like the thicker line. You can use the eraser to erase part, all, or whatever bit it is that you're looking for. Um, or let's say you wanted to go back to a different slide and you made a big old mess of your page and it was too much to have to erase all of that. It was taking forever. You come down here to this spray bottle right here. You click on the spray bottle and you get clear annotations and it will erase your entire page. Um, another important feature, you can also use these bottom arrows for undo or to redo something. So that's a quick fix. Um, you can also, let's say I go back to this last page, I can go to this button that has more tools. And if you see down here at Revealer near the bottom, you can use the Revealer feature to then hide what's on your screen and reveal it when you feel it's necessary. So if you're doing a worksheet or something of that nature, or you're trying to hide answers, that's a nice, easy feature. If you click it again, it'll go away. This right-hand side will hold the features that you've been using most recently, which is a nice one. Um, and then you can also drag your slides on the left to reorder them, especially if maybe you teach the lesson, you're about to reteach it, and you want to change something. That's an easy, quick fix. Um, let's say you want to add a slide in the middle. Using this button at the top will only advance you slides. You can't add slides in the middle that way. So what you do is you click on this right-hand corner, and you are going to insert a page. And you can insert before or after the page that you're on. Probably the number one question that people ask me is, well, my pen isn't working. It's not writing where I want it to write. So in order to do that, you're going to calibrate it. You need to come down to the bottom right-hand corner where this up caret is. And if you click on it, this icon for easy interactive driver, you'll just click, click calibrate and then it's going to give you a series of dots that you can click on and you'll have your pen calibrated and everything will be ready to go. Last but not least, um, what I'd like to leave you with, this is the button that you saw me hit in the beginning. If you click on that, that's the fastest way to get to using some other app like Explorer or your files, something else you want to show your students. If you come back and hover over it, it'll give you all the options again. It's a very quick feature. I can go to the camera and take a snapshot of something, maybe another web page, something like that, and it'll throw it into my Promethean um, slide presentation. Um, down here, other tools. I have a clock, so I can use a timer with my class. Or they've got digital and analog. I can do a countdown timer, a count up timer. So it's a very fast way to get to those tools. Um, there's also a micro microphone for recording, a calculator, and dice for doing um, just generating random numbers. So whatever you need. And there's also express polls if you happen to have clickers in your room. I hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, we'll be making more videos throughout the year and posting them to our YouTube channel. Uh, in order to find our YouTube channel, if you just go, let's switch to the pen, people. <laughs> and this will happen. So if you go to, let's make this pen nice and small, to find our YouTube channel, it is bit.ly.com backslash 
Elkhart Community Schools, ECS, they must be in capital, the number one. And then let's get this out of the way. Let's dock it at the bottom. One, and then the word stop. It's your one stop shop for whatever you need. Okay? So bit.ly.com backslash ECS one stop. 